Hey guys, I'm going to be talking to you today about physics and how to revise effectively for your GCSE physics exam. Now, I don't expect this video to be quite as long as the others because I covered a lot of the content in my other chemistry and biology videos. So go and check them out if you wanted any more details on revising generally for science as well. But um, moving on to physics, in my head physics is the weird mathsy one. Um, physics is a type of subject where you can get it one day, then you walk into class the following day and you have no idea what the teacher's chatting about. I mean, everything was fine one day and I walked into my A-level physics class and my teacher said, right, light is now a particle and my mind was blown and I didn't know what was going on. It's probably for this reason that I've had an absolute roller coaster of a time with physics. So one day I absolutely loved physics and I wanted to take it at university level. Then next day I was dropping out because of physics, like physics is just a mess. Um, both at GCSE and A level, so. But anyway, let's put you guys off it. Um, I'm going to be talking through just some general key points that I would go through when I'm revising for physics. And hopefully it will help you guys out. Um, so obviously, first of all, the major difference between physics and any other science is the equations that come along with physics. Now, there are a lot of equations, and at GCSE level, I know now that they're changing slightly the amount of equations they're giving you, but generally you get given quite a lot of the equations. So, in general, I wouldn't tend to say you must learn it, because why would you waste your time learning it, when it's more important to understand the equation and know how to apply it. Now, I remember my teacher at GCSE level was quite intent on making us learn the equations and I just basically point blank refused. I thought it was a waste of my time to go through learning the equations when they were given to me. Uh, on the other hand, I do understand why he said to learn them because it means then that you know how to apply it, you understand the equation and it's in there in your brain and you're not wasting time in the exam. But I think it's more of a waste of time revising them all when they're already given to you. So I wouldn't personally bother revising and learning the equations, I'd be more focusing on understanding them and how to apply them. Another point that I would want to make is that when, you get, when you're revising a certain topic and you come onto an equation, you're going to want to try and rearrange that equation in every different shape and form. If I got given an equation in physics, the first thing I would do was rearrange for all different terms and it might be an absolute awful thing to do like you can't be bothered doing it but it will help you out massively because you're practicing that rearrangement all the time and it's guaranteed that in almost every physics equation you have to do some slightly different rearrangement so it's worth doing it um rearranging the terms rearranging for every single term in the equation or sometimes even you just do it once or twice just so that you're always practicing and constantly refreshing your knowledge on rearrangement especially if you just do it every week so if you're revising physics once or twice a week and you have one or two equations in each topic there's not really that much rearrangement every week and that way you stay on top of your math skills and that will come critical in your exam. In physics I would say that there's certain core knowledge that is absolutely paramount to your understanding of other sections. There's a certain unit and at the beginning of this unit you'll get told some information and this information will lead on to the other topics within this unit. So let's take, for example, um, let's take waves. First thing you'll do is look at what wavelength is, amplitude, frequency, time period, refractions, compressions, and so on. And you'll learn all this terminology and how they all link together. And if you don't know that knowledge, then it becomes really difficult to know anything else about waves. So if you didn't know about amplitude and frequency and what they represent, then how are you supposed to move on and talk about sound waves, for example? Um, if you didn't understand frequency, time, period, wavelength and how they all link together with wave speed then you're not going to be able to talk about electromagnetic waves in any great detail. And these sort of themes, this sort of core knowledge can be, can be seen almost in every single unit. So another unit, say electricity, um, you usually do circuit symbols, then current and potential difference. And if you don't understand these and if you don't understand these three topics, then how are you supposed to move on and learn about LDRs and resistors and thermistors and things like that? Again, further examples could include energy and understanding the conservation of energy. 
because if you don't understand that, how are you supposed to move on and learn about energy and efficiency and power output and work done, etc, etc. So this sort of understanding of the core themes within physics is absolutely paramount and it actually makes it really easy to revise physics because if you understand these key topics, these key themes, then you can move on and basically apply them to these different situations. My recommendation for this would be that you just quickly summarise the key theme, the key topic within the unit, um, just before you move on every week. If I was going to do sound waves today, then I might want to spend just five, ten minutes looking over my notes on amplitude, wavelength and so on, that first topic within waves. And so, it can just be a quick fire, five minute thing, um, if you enjoy making flashcards or anything like that, then it could be a good way um, just to revise this knowledge quickly and make sure you're up to scratch on what you need to know before you move on. One thing about physics which you can't really do with many other topics is that you can actually write your own questions. So when you get given an equation, let's say f equals ma for example, I could write out two values, say force and mass in this example, and then I could force myself to work out acceleration. And one good way of doing this could be to write on a flashcard um, on one side the question, then a couple of weeks later come back to this question and see if you still know the answer, because you'll know it's right from whatever you did the previous couple of weeks ago. And so that is a really good way of making sure you're revising knowledge, you're staying on top of your knowledge, and it doesn't take very long to do, like you can go through flashcards in a matter of minutes or so. To stay on top of your rearrangement and things like that, that could be really helpful. Um, for some reason there's this idea around physics that like it's a really hard subject and I personally think it's not honestly that hard. I think we just get worked up about this maths and this um, building upon our knowledge because biology and chemistry don't really do this necessarily. There might be a couple of topics overlapping but physics is built up on these units, these maths and this core knowledge and it builds up and up and up because that's how physics works. You start off with this small principle and then you build up on this, giving examples and applications to the real world, and this is where people get lost. So as long as you stay on top of those rearrangements and equations, and you stay on top of your core knowledge, then when you come on to revise different sections, you should be fine. Um, I know it's been relatively quick, but this is it. That's what I'd say for physics. Um, you can go and check out the other two videos that I said, um, where I talk about sort of an example timeline as an example of what to do in your revision sessions. Um, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And also don't forget that our website is up now. So, I last time I did this wrong, I think. This, this side, this side, um, I'll put a link up here. And yeah, go and check it out, sign up for us guys. It's £12 and you get access to biology, chemistry, physics. Um, I spent a lot of time on it, so I'd really appreciate anyone signing up. But yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching guys.